Welcome to another episode of How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be the unboxing and the setting up of the APC Backups Pro 1500 Voltage Amperage Battery Backup System for my uh, desktop computer. So here's the APC Battery Backup System. In case you're wondering what the UPS stands for, uh, it doesn't stand for the guys in brown that deliver packages to your front door. It stands for Uninterrupted Power Source. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be hooking this up to my Omen desktop computer. It's a gaming computer. So you're probably wondering um, what exactly am I going to be hooking up to this uh, battery backup system. I'm going to be plugging my uh, computer tower, monitor, speakers, uh, my Western Digital 8 terabyte hard drive. And um, I think that's about it. Um, I do have some USB items that get power from uh, the computer so those are going to be plugged into the computer which will actually um, get the filtered power through this battery backup system so now on to the unboxing it's pretty heavy okay so let's see what we got here coaxial cable um, this is a uh, the data port to USB on the back of the computer cable instruction manual and of course, uh, the APC battery backup. Alright, so there's, uh, there's the front of it, right side, left side, okay there's a slip taped to the side of the box, it, um, it lists all the tests that uh, this unit had went through and they all passed. Now what I have to do now is to um, open up the door on the side and plug the battery in and that's it for what I have to do right here so now what I need to do is to um, remove the side cover and plug in the battery and I'll do that right now my hands are a little slippery from lotion <laughs> Tilt the battery up. There's a red cable right here. That's it for that part. I'm going to give you a few specs on the APC unit first. It is a 4 by 10 by 14 and a half. It weighs about 25, just over 25 pounds. It has 1500 voltage amperes. Um, 
a Joules rating of uh, 1080. Yeah, let's see what else. Uh, what else did I write down? Oh, <laughs> most important. It's uh, 900 watts of power, and this power should last for uh, about 25 minutes. Basically, all you really need this for is to, um, in case of a power failure, you'll have enough time to uh, close down all your work that you're working on, maybe finish up a little bit of it, and then shut down the computer safely. Because um, as you know, if you have a power failure and you're on your computer and you're using it, anything that you're uh, working on will not be saved. You have an Ethernet cable in and out, data port cable, coaxial in and out. You have a total of six Cert suppressor backup outlets. You got five here and one here. And then you have an additional four outlets which are uh, cert suppressed only. And then this uh, data port here, what that is for. This is the supplied cable that came with the unit. We'll plug it in to there. This other end has a USB which will plug into the back of the computer. And what you would do is you would go on to uh, the APC uh, website. You would download this program called um, the power chute and what that will do it will enable this device here to automatically save any work and shut down your computer if there's a power failure and you are not around to actually uh, you know, turn your computer off it will do it for you um, because like uh, it's like the name it's a battery backup it's not meant to run your computer continuously it, it's a 900 watt computer inside here. I mean, a 900 watt battery inside here. Now this battery only has a certain amount of uh, runtime once uh, once the power goes out. Uh, in the book, it says for a gaming computer with a uh, 24 inch LCD monitor, about 25 minutes with uh, this 900 watt unit. But that's they got. They say that's a rating of. Hang on a second. Supposedly this gaming computer that's that they have listed in here is 240 watts with the monitor, speakers, and uh, internet modem and router. I think mine's probably a little bit more powerful. Um, I, <laughs> I've searched all around to try to find out how many watts it actually is, and it's impossible to find out. All you can get is like uh, estimates. That's a pretty cool feature, so I, I would definitely recommend hooking uh, this up and downloading uh, PowerShoot from uh, the APC uh, from the APC website. Uh, just to let you know, this uh, pamphlet did not come with the APC unit. I I printed off some information from uh, the APC website uh, about it. And um, one other thing that's kind of important: some people are probably wondering, well, what happens when uh, this battery goes bad? It's replaceable. It's called a hot swappable battery. Of course, this is a 900 watt battery. I believe it's about 60, 60 bucks or so. Could be less. Could be a few bucks more. Uh, they estimate that it would last anywhere between three to five years. Could last a little longer. Depends upon how many uh, power outages you have and how many times it goes through uh, the cycles of being full drained, full drained. So the other cool feature. Uh, with this unit besides being a, a great surge suppressor it also maintains a constant flow of electricity from this unit to whatever um, devices you have plugged into the back of it um, and why why is that important well what it is like when a refrigerator goes on in the house or a washer dryer or a heater it it disrupts the power flow um, throughout the house and Computers are really sensitive to uh, power changes, so what this does, it just maintains a nice, clean, straight flow of electricity from this to your devices, and uh, that is probably the biggest reason why I had actually purchased this. Not so much the surge suppressor part, because I have really good APC surge suppressors already hooked up to all my uh, electronic devices, my TV, my computer equipment. A little Jibo here, <laughs> and um, but that was uh, probably my uh, the biggest reason why I bought it. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and turn this thing around, and I'll show you the front of it. On the display screen, you can check the status of this unit by pressing the power button once, and you can scroll through uh, 
the status by pushing this button here. Right now it's running off of a 124 volt outlet. It's at 60 hertz, which is perfect. Uh, okay, it's still 124 volts. Um, zero events because there's been no power outages. It would run for 179 minutes if there was a power outage right now, but there is nothing plugged into the back of the unit, so that's why it's uh, the minutes are so high. Zero watts are being drawn, and zero percent is being drawn through there, and back to a 124 volt outlet that it's plugged into. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, get this unit where I want it to go. I'll plug in the back, and then we'll see what the uh, display screen shows then. Well, this is the lowest I ever had to get to do a shot. Okay, so I have the APC unit plugged into the wall. I had hooked up my, um, I had plugged in my HP Omen gaming computer, uh, the Omen monitor, the Western Digital 8 terabyte hard drive, and the Bose speakers. So those are the only devices I'm plugging into the back of this unit. All the others are still plugged into my APC search suppressors that are just on the other side of this, uh, this unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, show you the display screen, and scroll through uh, the status. So let me go ahead and zoom in. So as you can see here, it's running off of uh, the outlet that is, uh, has 123 volts, 60 hertz, and it's a steady 60 hertz, which is really good. Uh, once again, 124, 123 volts. Right now there's been zero events, no power outages. Uh, right now, if uh, the power were to go out at the state that the computer's in right now, it would run for 76 minutes, give or take a few. And right now, it's using anywhere between 78 watts up to, what was it, I saw like 82, there's 77. I'm only at 8% of the load that this thing is uh, able to put out. There we go, back to 124 volt outlet. As you can see here, it's plugged into the outlet. Now that the unboxing and the setting up is complete, what you need to do now is to go onto the apc.com website and download the program called the PowerChute. What that will enable you to do is to um, view, the, um, view the status of the battery charger. And there's a couple other cool features on there. I'll go through that once I pull it up. So let's get to it. Okay, so you're going to punch in apc.com. In their search bar, you're going to punch in PowerShoot. You're going to click on the first one that comes up. It's called the PowerShoot Personal Edition. It's for uh, Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista, and XP. Go over here and click the download button. You're going to click the first one that uh, shows on the list. And then you're going to hit download now. Go to the bottom of the screen and hit run. And do you want the do you want this app to make changes to your computer? So yes. And then you hit next, click agree, next. And then install. And you want to go ahead and punch in your uh, zip code. and then finish. So let's go ahead and open it up. Do you want to allow this uh, app to make changes to your device? Yes. So here we go, here's the the main screen that comes up when you uh, click on it. You have performances, current status, run self-test, energy usage, and then you got configurations, which you can do options, runtime, notifications, 
sensitivity, voltage, and of course health and support. So let's go ahead and click on performance. You can see that there's been no blackouts, under voltage, over voltages, or electrical noise. So on the current status page, it shows you that it's getting uh, power from the outlet. It's using 1.728 kilowatts a day. The battery is at a 100% charge, and it is charged. And there has been no self-test run yet. I will run one and show you what it does. And it is drawing, actually the, the volts coming from the wall is at 122, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and do a, a run test right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then click run self-test. I'll show you what's actually going on down on top of the battery pack. I'll run it one more time. So it says date of last uh, manual self-test was on 12-5-2018 and it passed. So perfect. I'm going to go ahead and run a self-test now so you can see what happens on the display screen. And once again, it passed. So now what I'm going to do is go down to the configuration page, click on options. Uh, you can check for updates. I'm going to leave all this at the, at the default setting. Then you have runtime. What this will do is if you lose power um, to the battery backup, it automatically kicks in. It will run the computer. And it will automatically shut down the computer when there are just over eight minutes left on the battery before it's drained completely. It'll close any uh, any apps and then it'll shut down your computer safely. You can also change this. You can make it in between five, six, seven, and eight minutes. I'm going to keep it at eight. Then you have notifications. Because um, when there is a power failure, uh, the APC system will notify you that there has been one with a series of beeps. Right now, and it's disabled between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. Uh, let's see what else. Since there's sensitivity, I'm going to leave it at the default setting, which is medium. Then you have voltage. It'll let you know if the volts fall below 88 volts or if they go above 139, which is not good. And that's really about it. And then down here in the help and support, you have, uh, you have help, technical data, contact APC, and then... Uh, about them. So that's it. Well, that's a wrap up on another how to video with Paul Henderson. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and hit subscribe. It's somewhere around here. I never can remember where it's at. Um, then you'll get notifications of future videos as they come out. I think I have like 24, 25 out there right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and um, have a good day.